guys today i'm going to show you how i fix this little car so my son loves cars and this one is one of his favorites and it broke so he will not let it go and he kept coming to me and saying mama mama trying to fix it so i decided i was going to try to fix it the crafty way now i had already cut this little part before um and then i thought you know it would be fun to make a video I know it's not really crafty but i haven't really posted videos so i thought that it would be fun to share with you how i fixed it so for those of you that have kids um or you know want to know how to fix a toy the crafty way um i'll go ahead and show you so i just kind of measured i use my um little i think this is an eighth of an inch punch um to punch where the little wheel was and what it is is the the uh, black part that holds the wheel broke so when he pushes down it, you know it goes up and it gets stuck underneath the car so he was not able to use it so all i did was kind of you know cut a little piece of cardboard and just kind of measure it to you know so it would fit underneath but i was only going to put one and then decided you know for the amount of uh you know play that he uses these cars for i was going to need a little bit more than one so i went ahead and cut out four of these little panels so i'm just you know measuring them up uh one against the other to cut the rest and then just you know kind of trimming the corners and then um, i marked all the little um, sections with a pencil so i know where to punch exactly because i can't put both of them through the through the um hole puncher because it is they're so tiny and they're you know two cardstock thicks is too much so but anyway, once I knew that I had it already, I wanted to make sure that, you know, it wasn't going to be too thick and that all of them were going to be enough to go through them. And I just cut those. But yeah, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, I left a little bit of the footage or the, you know, so he can hear. But, you know, he got a little bit loud because he wanted to be here right next to me when I was fixing it. Though he did pretty good. You know, he kept his hands uh, away from me so I could, you know, work on this and do this stuff. He was just kind of... Uh, entertain watching the, what I was doing and you know he kept asking if if it was his car and I said yes I'm fixing your car so yeah I thought it was kind of funny but cute so I left a, a little bit of that in there so yeah you know just kind of a little bit to brighten your day um I love you know spending time with my son and this was actually pretty pretty cool so I just grab here my handy dandy hot glue gun and I'm just going to attach all of the pieces together so I'm just pressing them down and then, you know, just putting the glue. Of course, this is not going to be perfect. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, but I'm trying to make it as sturdy as I can. So that way it can, um, you know, hold up for him for a little bit at least. Because, you know, I know that I could just throw it away or whatnot, but he loves his cars and he loves this yellow one. So, uh, yeah, I had to fix it for him. But here you can see that it is looks like it is going to work. Um, I just have to, you know, glue it down. So once I saw that it was going to be staying there, I just kind of trimmed a little bit because there's, um, on the corner there was something that was catching. So I just had to trim a tiny bit on the cor uh, on the front right there. Um, sorry, don't do that with the scissors. You might cut your, your fingers. I, I've done that before. So you want to make sure that you don't do it. So just be safe. And i um, just kind of trying to measure it to, you know, fix it right there and see how it will go. Now, another thing that I decided to do is to coat this thing with hot glue all around um, because I was thinking that, you know, it should hold up nicely or hold up okay as long as it doesn't get wet. Now, he does like to sometimes go and give them um, car washes in the uh, doggy bowl, so I know that this is going to be getting wet. So we'll see if this kind of helps, but I just coated the whole thing with hot glue and I just went around the edges first and then I also did it on the side. So each side I'm, you know, so I'm waiting for it to dry. It was drying pretty quick with this glue because it is a very thin coat that I added. So it worked fine, but yeah. So let's see, I'll, I'll, let, you, I'll let you guys know how it hold up and, uh, and see how it works. But once I have that ready, I am just going to put it back in there and make sure that it's going to be good and then that way I can attach it to the whole thing so I am going to put loads of glue in there so I can make sure that it stays there so here you are you can see that it's gonna work I was super excited when I was you know actually figuring out that it would work because um you know that's usually what happens when things break or my kids break things they always ask me can you fix it can you fix it because a lot of times things that they like playing with 
And here you can see it's working. So there he goes and grabs his car. He couldn't hold it anymore. So, uh, but yeah, anyway, here's where I'm putting loads of uh, glue and then making sure that it goes in there. But like I was saying, I have like my my girls too, they always come and bring me stuff to to get fixed. And I always tell them, go put it on my craft table and I'll get around to it. Some things they're still there I haven't fixed, but you know, I'll get around to that. And I know he, you know, he carries his cars everywhere, so he needed that. But there you go. I can just make sure that it's not hitting the you know the top so I can put it together, add more glue. Here I also use my spellbinders um, tool in one um, the pick thing because when I added the extra glue um, over there by the wheel it accidentally got a little bit onto where that little oh I don't know what it's called but the little barrel that holds the wheels um, it got in there so I just wanted to take it off and make sure that it didn't glue it because I want the wheels to move so I mean I hadn't realized this little car had a little screw on the bottom so there it is it, it worked out just fine See? Well, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You're going to play with your car? Time. Can you show me? Can you show me? Show me how to play your car. Yay! It works! Mama, fix it! Try it again. Show me. Say yay! Can you say? Say yay! Mama, fix it! Show me. Show me how it works. Yay!